Stella. Right. Hold on, it's not done. You can find me, Seven. You like that side? That's your baby? his first car ride. He passed out and spit out the pacifier, but the pacifier we had to use this is fidgety, but they put him right to sleep. He passes out all in the car seat. Made, you know, and sat there for a while, but boy, he just <laughs> doesn't seem to be enough. And now in bed, they've got um, these wraps around my legs that move, you know, in and out. Yeah, so that feels good. That feels good. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Yeah. Well, yeah. So, uh, I, I don't know when, uh, I think I'm going to be in here two more days before they put me in another place. Curious baby boy. Curious baby boy. He's curious as can be. What's out there in the world? Curious baby boy. He's curious of the world. What's out there in the world? Curious little boy. Wolf you? Yeah, wolf you. Ah, big yawn. <laughs> it's just a curious little boy. Tired of lifting your head? Bye bye. <laughs> He's just asleep. Testing out the carrier. <laughs> he likes being close to dad. <sighs> hey, are you a happy boy? <sighs> He's just a little white whale on the go. Hey everyone, it's been a while since I made a video because life got crazy after I had my baby and I never even finished editing the video I was working on when I was pregnant. That being said, today is a new video and I have no idea when this will be up, but why not make the content? Today I decided that I wanted to try out this old pattern I had and I couldn't remember what I used it for and how it came out to be honest. So I just thought I'd play with it again. It is more of the style that I like anyway. I'm going to be using this fabric I found at Goodwill for $2. And I think it has like maybe a yard or two. Bug in here. I don't know what it was. 
really beautiful mustard yellow. I still have hope that I will be able to continue to sew, even though it's been very difficult being a first time mom to a newborn. He takes up a lot of my time that I haven't figured out how to use my time to still squeeze in stuff like this. I'm going to be starting to take advantage of my husband taking care of the baby during evenings or weekends. I do night feedings and day when he's at work. If I can jump back to sewing here and there, that might actually help me feel like I'm still doing things for myself and not just forgetting about myself and then just like completely putting all my time to the baby. I love him. I really do. I just want to make sure that I'm always feeling mentally ready, happy, and in a good mood around him. So I try not to forget about the things that make me feel good and the things that are therapeutic. That being said, let's get to this project and like and subscribe if you like this sort of content, even if it takes me a while to post a lot. I'm going to eventually work my way to posting more. You never know when a video will pop up. Let's go. actually been working on this dress. Silly me forgot that I wanted to record each little step and create a montage of the making of this dress but I didn't so I wanted to show where I'm at in it in case past footage didn't make sense. <laughs> the inside is horrendous because I didn't put too much effort into cleaning it up but I did try. The way the I forgot to add something that covers that to match what's going on here so this is a much cleaner choice that I went with but I forgot to do it here before sewing everything together so it's raw which is my bad. <laughs> Also, I use foam paper for the cups. So anyone who is on a budget, I would recommend using foam paper because it really does give them shape without spending an arm and a leg on buying these bra cups over and over and over when you're practicing. I shouldn't say arm and a leg. I'm sure they're not even that expensive. I just didn't want to waste it on practice dresses. So I didn't buy it yet. And then I wanted to make this one. But anyway, so on the inside, we have this liner in here that I just put in. And I literally just sewed it to this band that I had created on the skirt. I sewed it sort of, it's hard to tell, but like I sewed it down that way and then flipped it inside out. And so the inside of the dress is the ugly side so that the outside, if it's revealed in any way, you know, wouldn't have like the sort of stuff going on. So I didn't know when I bought or when I got a serge or my husband let me get it for my birthday. I was like really thankful. But I didn't realize you needed to get three or four of the same color thread to get that consistency. I just thought one thread did the trick. Literally, that's how much I didn't know about sergers. I just knew what they did and I wanted one, but I never actually worked with one. Anyway, so I have three different colors and that results in the edges that I surged to have like this one has yellow. This one has the black because I couldn't find the right thread that um, worked well with the serger. You can use regular small ones, but I had bought serger, made for the serger, anyway. So I have the, this added to the straps to make bows, and I just have to add one to the back of it, but I haven't tested the size before putting on the zipper. Because of the way that I did this, which I actually hate this, it's a ribbon, so it got really messed up along the way, and I just did not want to undo it because I was so frustrated, so I figured whatever, it goes under the arm, and once it's like flesh against the skin maybe no one will notice the idea is there and i think that's all that matters but yeah this is the back of the dress that i have to put the zipper once i get the size right and so literally the only thing left is a zipper the other ribbon to add to the back so they can tie together on the shoulders and then to hem the bottom now the bottom is technically not going to be hemmed at the moment this fabric right here is super thin as you can imagine and it's very very delicate and it frays very easily i didn't 
didn't want to have to like hem it by folding it twice or anything. I wanted it to be like a tiny little hem sewn perfectly across. So I'm going to actually wait to get the rolled hem foot for my sewing machine. But otherwise, it's pretty much almost done. That is where this dress is at. I'm so stoked about it. And I hope to do a photo shoot with it and I will include that in this video. I'll try to remember to record a little bit more maybe. I don't know. Probably not.